to get. Remember, we had drones. We had a drone over Benghazi while the attack was going on. We were able to see what was happening yes. in Washington. And you had attackers showing up with rocket propelled grenades and AK 47s. And these were, you know, very heavily armed terrorists. Well, let me ask you this, Dr. Corsi, because we've had people like uh, Dr. Pachinik on and others who have flat out said that they believe that this was internecine fighting between different factions within our government, different factions within the CIA, some of them who wanted to arm Al Qaeda and ISIS, others who wanted to see that stopped, depending on which side these guys are on. I mean, do you think that there was something like that going on with this? Well, I mean, I've been reporting on the uh, Citizens Committee on Benghazi, which is a group of you know really top former military commanders and intelligence officers and media experts. And you know, um, you've got people like Admiral Lyons on the group, um, General Vallely on the group. These are these are very distinguished military commanders with long careers. And the you know basic scenario that I reported on again, WND, that Admiral Lyons believes is that this was a attempt to you know to capture it was a kidnapping gone terribly wrong to get. Because we had already supported Al Qaeda, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. we were through Hillary Clinton, the State Department, even before Gaddafi was toppled in 2011, we'd been getting guns in through Benghazi from Turkey and distributing them to these same Al Qaeda affiliated militias like the Ansar yes. al Sharia, who was doing the attack on the Benghazi compound. Now, you've got to ask why would Ansar al Sharia suddenly attack the compound when, you know, Chris Stevens is one of their best friends, he's getting them weapons. Mm -hmm. Well, the I think the ar argument is that the Obama administration, uh, going back to when Morsi first took office in 2011 in Egypt, had been pressuring Obama to release the blind sheik, who is the guy we have in prison that was trying to master, did mastermind the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. Uh, he was prosecuted and is now in a lifetime sentence at a US prison. And Morsi in Egypt, Muslim Brotherhood, won him back, and Obama was trying to release him. All the efforts were failing, and you know there was no consensus in America that we ought to release a terrorist of this magnitude. So Obama was being opposed in his efforts, and they were all published in the newspaper at the time. Very, very widely known that Obama was trying to release the blind cheek. Then this attack occurs, and of course, the idea of trying to get a kidnapping, uh, you know, the, you've got to ask why did why did we not? Accede to the request being made by Christopher Stevens to give him greater security. You know why was U.S. forces all across the world told not to mobilize and go to the aid in Benghazi when we had forces in the region? You know it sounds mm -hmm. like we were leaving um, Chris Stevens in this compound. This diplomatic it sounded like compound. they wanted to get rid of him, didn't it? Well, or that they yeah. were making him vulnerable. He was being mm -hmm. put out there as a attractive target that could be snatched. Mm -hmm. And if you read the 13 hours, and one of the things I think in the account from the uh, global resources guys who went from the annex, disobeyed orders, got in two vehicles and went over to the diplomatic compound, was that you know they say that this was a attack that had gone wrong. It was basically set up. They wondered if it was a kidnapping when they entered. My my phone has been like this. It's been I've been. <laughs> That's all right. These That's all right. So your your take on it is not so much that necessarily that it was an internecine fighting between these two different groups. Uh, one who wants to arm the terrorists, ISIS, uh, Al Qaeda, uh, which we know a lot of arms have, have uh, were flowing out of uh, that area to Al Qaeda prior to the attack and certainly afterwards. But that they were trying, that they wanted the ambassador to get uh, kidnapped so well, they could yeah. have an excuse to do a prisoner trade with the blind sheik. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm saying that the evidence is pointing in that direction. It's mm -hmm. going to have to be investigated. We don't have the documents yet to prove it. But when you say it's a circumstantial case, but when you try to explain, you know, why would Al Qaeda groups that we had been supporting? Remember, Obama changed sides in Ben in Libya. We began, Obama made a decision and he issued a presidential finding. He signed it that we were going to arm Al Qaeda when we were supposedly at war with Al Qaeda. Mm -hmm. They turned down, and this again, the CCB, the, the Citizens Commission of Benghazi had reported on, they had turned down an offer to abdicate 
You had Gaddafi saying, I'll leave. I don't need to Hang be. Hang on, Dr. Corso, we've got to go to commercial break. And I also, once we come back, we're going to talk about the North American Union. That's another massive plot. Of course, what was going on in Benghazi? They're perfectly capable of anything. They will lie, cover up, and conspire. We're going to be right back with Dr. Jerome Corsi. Stay with us. Millions of people are going to get sick this winter from colds, flus, and other illnesses. Make sure you're not one of them. Protect yourself with Supernatural Silver, a revolutionary new product. Recent advances in silver technology have resulted in a silver solution that can be used daily to help prevent bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is safe enough to use daily while powerful enough to help your own immune system destroy the causes of many serious diseases. Supernatural Silver has the ability to terminate entire colonies of harmful bacteria at several hundred times the effectiveness of colloidal or ionic silver. The Science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern medicine. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com today and use the promo code SILVER2015 for 30% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Interested in free bitcoins? Stay tuned for more information. Are you worried about Big Brother watching your bank account? Frustrated with annoying fees? Concerned about unauthorized access to your account? What if there was a way to be your own bank? Bitcoin gives you a way to take back control of your money. The citizens of two large countries have already turned to Bitcoin when their economies collapsed. Unlike U.S. dollars, there is a limited number of Bitcoins. The government cannot simply decide to print more. Eight million people are already using Bitcoin anonymously with 90,000 retailers accepting them. Investors have put $4 billion into Bitcoin, with millions more being invested daily. Bitrush.com is based in Texas and provides the most profitable way to own Bitcoins. To receive your own free Bitcoins, you can visit us at www.bitrush.com. Dot com. That's B-I-T-R-U-S-H dot com. Or call us at 1-800-200-8202. Again, that's bitrush.com or 1-800-200-8202 for free bitcoins. It's very easy to be a criminal. All you need to burglarize a home is one simple household tool, a pair of scissors. If your home security system can be compromised by a criminal using scissors, then you're making it easy for them. Almost every home security system, even those sold by big name companies, Companies has a weakness. The phone line. You shell out 1500 bucks, get locked into a long-term contract, and think you're safe. But a burglar can destroy your alarm in seconds with one snip. And when a burglar cuts your phone line, you're, you're defenseless. defenseless. Simply Safe Home Security is the smarter choice. Built by Harvard engineers, Simply Safe uses a wireless connection to call the cops. Scissors can't cut it. And that means your home stays safe. 24-7 professional monitoring is under $15 a month with no contract. Simply Safe Home security keeps you safer than the other guys for half the cost protect your home with the alarm you can trust simply safe go to simplysafedefense.com now for an exclusive 10 percent offer that's simplysafedefense.com what good is a big berkey water filter we get that question a lot here at big berkey waterfilters.com and in a word the answer is protection protection from water main breaks e coli contamination environmental chemical spills pesticide runoff chlorine taste and smell and all forms of fluoride plus big berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason tested by multiple independent nsf epa certified labs they are the gold standard in water purification at only 1.7 cents a gallon a single set of filters can last for five to ten years that means big savings big berkey the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water get a big berkey today at big berkey waterfilters.com gcn listeners receive five percent off all ceramic filter systems visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY that's 877-99-BERKEY big berkey water filters for the love of clean water Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we have on the phone with us Dr. Jerome Corsi from WND.com. We were just talking in the last segment about an uh, article that's up there, a smoking gun uh, document from uh, about Benghazi that was obtained by Judicial Watch. And uh, Dr. Corsi was breaking that down. We talked a little bit about what he thinks uh, might have been behind uh, the Benghazi incident. 
But Dr. Corsi, let's move on to this other article that you've got, which really concerns me. Actually, this concerns me even more so, because I know that the, uh, the government elites are constantly engaged in their Machiavellian uh, fighting within each other and running uh, terrorist groups that they're then protecting us from. But another aspect of all this, of course, is the uh, consolidation into trading blocks that we've seen happen with the North American Union. And now they're at the next step, trying to consolidate the North American Union with uh, Europe and with Asian countries, just with the Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's about 40% of the world's economy right there that they're trying to uh, pull in and control because it's not really about free trade. You don't create a secret document uh, about free trade and not let anybody see it, a multi-thousand uh, page document that you ram through under fast track. No, this is not about exports unless you're talking about exporting jobs and exporting sovereignty. But we can see how this is playing out with the North American Union as they're working on the very next level of consolidation. And we see how poorly this has worked out for Americans with the uh, North American Union. They're now talking about getting rid of U.S. passports and substituting North American Union passports. Uh, talk about this organization that's uh, put this uh, piece out on CNN, why we need a North American passport. Well, the, the group is the uh, New America Foundation. It's a Washington-based uh, think tank. It's Jonathan Soros, the son of you know, the billionaire George Soros, is on the board. It's a Soros-backed organization. It has money even from the State Department. It's a heavily financed organization. And they printed an article in their publications that was picked up uh, by CNN that says that we should make the US passport obsolete because the shared destinies of the three countries, Mexico, Canada, and the United States would be to create a North American passport. And I'll quote, you know, that would allow citizens to travel, work, invest, learn, and innovate anywhere in North America. Hmm. Tourists and student visas, you know, not necessary. So I mean, this is advancing the agenda that I Criticized now the late Robert Pastor passed away last year from American University had been championing a North American Union and it's a bipartisan effort. I mean George W. Bush had the Security and Prosperity Partnership in North America since 2005 uh, and not declared by Congress, no treaty, no law. And I put in the article now Barack Obama when he announced the relationships with Cuba and he's saying from the White House in Spanish. You know, total somos americanos. We're all Americans. And yes, so, yes. We had Nancy yeah. Pelosi say we have one community of people that just happens to have a border running through it. If you want to understand what's going on with the open borders, if you want to understand why neither the Democrats nor the Republicans will do anything about this, the answer is NAFTA. And it's the, the globalist agenda, which is an agenda for the central bankers yes. around the world. It's an agenda for the multinational corporations. It pushes labor to slave labor. You know, it's why we see the deterioration in America of the middle class. How well are we doing since NAFTA? And it's but it's by you know it's George H. W. Bush, it's Bill Clinton, it's George it's George W. Bush, and now it's Barack Obama. And uh, and I think you're going to see uh, remarkably that the GOP in Congress will support President Obama on fast track authority to get this very secretive Trans-Pacific Partnership through and the Democrats will oppose Obama. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we've already heard, and I, was, I mentioned it yesterday, I was very disappointed to hear Rand Paul right after the election start talking about how we needed to do this because we need to do a boost to our economy. Listen, the only thing, as I said before, that we're going to be exporting are jobs and sovereignty. It's about exporting our sovereignty. It's the same thing that we see with Agenda 21. We talked to Rosa Cora yesterday. Listen to the very first sentence on this op-ed piece that uh, New America uh, Organization put on CNN. The future of the United States lies in North America. They're not talking about it being geographic. They said this is not a geographic truism. It is a strategic imperative. So it's essential for them to now consolidate the North American Union because they're going to the next step. They're taking, uh, they want to consolidate us with uh, Europe as well as with uh, Asia with these secretly negotiated uh, trade agreements. They call them trade agreements. It's far beyond that. That's what's really concerning me, Dr. Corsi. Well, and also it's the same stealth plan that was used in Europe. Yes. I, you know, go back to the European coal and steel agreement. 
that was signed as a treaty in Paris in 1951. And, and Jean Monnet and the other architects of the European Union swore right